let me show you exactly the process that we go through. But we have a very different approach from any other ad agency that I'm aware of. And we've created this because we really sat down and we're thinking from a humanistic approach. This is one of the drum of home. But the first thing we need to realize is the difference between creating demand and capturing demand. And whereas most people are just capturing demand, if you go to, if you're, if you have an agency already or someone's just doing this, they're running ads directly to just some gated content or do a demo kind of call to action, then that's just called capturing demand. That's just such a small piece of the puzzle. But what we need to do is start way before that. We do this as well, but we need to actually create new demand. And we can do that with paid social. We can do that with social generally. Paid social just, es you know, escalates the whole process, magnifies and makes it quicker and bigger. So you don't have to build this you know, organic process up, we can just like make it really fast and really quick. Google ads are great for capturing demand. Again, you're just capturing that 1% that are in the market and then you're treated like a commodity. We need to create new, brand new demand and we need to think of how that happens from a humanistic level. So what that means is the first thing we'll do when you become a client is we'll look at your customers and we'll try to really understand them. So the best thing we can do is try to get customer feedback. We'll analyze anything anyone's ever saying about you and try to understand what kind of information do they need to go along the buyer's journey. It's all about creating content to move them along a buyer's journey of not really understanding the problem you solve and to educate them on the magnitude of that problem to educate them on why that's super, super important and why they should prioritize it and start thinking about how to solve it. The next step is where the majority of the demand is created, which is basically their problem aware but not solution aware. And we need to educate them not on our brand or company yet. What we need to do is educate them why our segment industry, the category we're in, is the right solution for their problem. So quickly, I do LinkedIn ads. The problem I solve is demand. So once people know they have a demand problem, they're considering Google ads, they're considering outbound, they're considering hiring more salespeople, they're thinking about all the different ways they can create demand, blogging, SEO, and LinkedIn ads is definitely part of that option. So I need to educate people why LinkedIn ads is better in certain situations than say running Google ads, which is just purely a capture demand kind of platform. So all of a sudden we need to do this with your company. We need to understand what is it? What are your um, indirect competitors? And there's content around why your market segment is the right um, solution for their problem why they shouldn't go to the other ones and in specific cases why yours is the best so suddenly we're going to take these people and we're going to make them not problem aware not even problem aware or not really you know prioritizing the problem and move them into a place where they're okay we're thinking about solution to a place where they're like hey this you know linkedin ads is probably the right one for us and at this point you're creating completely brand new demand and if you're the one who've taken them along that journey now they're ready to be captured with the captured demand which is the small easy part of the whole story and then at this point ads come in which are like hey are you ready to do a demo? Are you ready to sign up to a free trial? Are you ready for a schedule, schedule a phone call to speak to someone? At this point, they should be coming in pretty warm and ready to be captured and your conversion rate should be better. The reason why this makes more sense and the reason why we're trying to create demand, especially in these more difficult financial, you know, the economic times we live is that the capture demand market is going to get smaller and smaller. The people in market is getting smaller. So we need to create more people in demand and we need to move more people into the in demand. And if we're the ones, if your company is the one pushing people to become in market by through education, by creating content regularly every single month and distributed with LinkedIn ads to very specific ICPs, because we can do that with LinkedIn ads, hyper-targeted, really elite level types of people we can target, then you're gonna be in plain sight as the company that people go to and people will be happily to do demos. Once they click on do a demo, start, you know, do a free trial, the conversion rates will be much higher rather than just ramming people down with MQLs low intent leads, getting S wasting SDR time, chasing low intent leads, trying to convert them to sales, having sales have really low conversion rates as well from low intent people that have been forced to do a sales call, been pushed really hard and trying to squeeze out something that's with a system that was created by HubSpot and Salesforce a long time ago. So what happens is once we understand that, we need to create content on the different buyer journey. We need to analyze your industry and understand what that content is, but creating a lot of it and regularly. The next step, we will basically, in this management doc, create a lot of different campaigns to through design a really good system where we have a cold layer. Generally with video would be really good, where it's, we're creating 
content on platform on this core layer. We don't really want people to be going to your website just yet. We're just trying to get engagement on platform. So vanity metrics matter more than ever these days. And um, I'd call them really important metrics. Something that people have been, you know, it's like a taboo to even say it these days, but I'm saying I'm saying they're more important than ever become really important. And what we do then is we retarget these layer with further content and education. And eventually at the bottom of funnel, we're retargeting them with do a demo or here's a case study. Here's why we as a company is awesome. So we, we go, we have a full funnel humanistic approach to advertising and we do these um, LinkedIn and paid social campaigns. We can retarget on Facebook as well. So you get a really cool management document and we put everything here. We have the campaigns all here. We have, um, you know, all the pages retargeting. This is more for us to understand, but you get access to this. You have, you know, the whole LinkedIn targeting and if we have other targeting, campaigns running we have all the utm parameters we set up the assets you know the ad creatives which are all there the ad copy which if you know we put it there and we have this awesome system every week we send a loom video on a friday updating just to calm nerves to say this is what's happening this is how the week has been at bi-weekly we'll have a quick touch base on the phone call that's available and every single month we dive in deep with a really good reporting we set up the reporting in ways which answers the questions we want so that means for example you know we've predefined kpis we've predefined questions we've asked and in those reports, we'll segment the data in a way that makes sense to answering those questions. And we'll have a really good way to deep dive into what's working, what's not, and optimize on a monthly basis. 